Hello everyone, it's Becky. I am back with a share of what I picked up from the Art Impressions warehouse sale that I went to yesterday. It was in a town that's about an hour south of where I live and it was a gorgeous day, so a beautiful day for a drive. The fall trees were still in color in many places, so it was just a lovely little trip down there. It was dark by the time I came home because I spent a little more time going to Tuesday morning afterwards, but um, Art Impressions is a family owned business and I don't know if you recognize the name but I bet you recognize these ladies. Uh, those of you who shop at Tuesday morning at least have probably seen these ladies um, on stamps that Tuesday morning has carried from time to time. There were also some bowler guys I remember seeing too. But um, they do those. But the other thing that they do are these kind of images. They're stamps. And then she um, just uses a watercolor pen, brush pen kind of to um, color the stamp. And then stamps it. And then takes just a clean water brush and kind of just pulls some of the lines out. And it ends up looking like a watercolor painting. And this showed up on my YouTube feed one time, and I, so I watched one of them and was just fascinated watching. So I'll put a link down below to their YouTube channel, and you can watch a couple of these if you want, if you're interested, if you like this kind of a look. Um, this is Bonnie Krebs. She's the creator and owner. Her husband was there yesterday. I met him, and he helps with the business. Their son was there. He helps with the business. It's very much a family business. And I have a young friend from church, Annalise, who is working for them now. And uh, she grew, I watched her grow up in our church. So it's really fun to see her. She's finished college. She was an art major and she's now working with them. And she was teaching a class yesterday. So I didn't see her when I first walked in, but then she finished her class or helping with another class and came in. And so um, she talked to me and I'll tell you a little bit more what about she told me. Or help me find. So let's clear this up. This was just a little freebie pin. You know, it's leftovers from shows that they've been in. And that was their um, their booth number. So let me show you what I got. The first thing, um, everything was at, well, not everything, but all the stamps were 30% off at least. But they told me about this one section in the back that um, was their closeout area where everything was first 50% off and then you got another 30% off of that. So of course that's where I headed first and there was quite a lot of stuff back there. Um, so I got this little um, sentiment stamp. These are, are mounted, well they say unmounted, but they're mounted on these little foam thingies at least. They're not on a wood block, but they do have the foam attached to them and I'll show you a little bit later just some of the raw rubber that they were also selling that is truly unmounted unmounted <laughs> I don't know what you call the difference I haven't worked a lot with rubber stamps before so this is kind of new for me but um, I just like that little sentiment so I got that one and then because I like those watercolor painted look that was really what I was looking for and so I saw these little pieces that have you know, the the grasses or the foliage or something. So I picked up a couple of these. And this is just some little um, grasses kind of thing, wild grasses. And this is like a little branch. And when they, you can take various sets and mix and combine them and compose your own little picture. And again, these were all half off and then a third, another 30% off. This is just a little bush or a branch, something. And then here's another coffee related one. Never underestimate the power of being properly caffeinated. Amen. <laughs> and then I got this little owl set. Very cute. Not a lot of really cute little ones. I didn't get too many of the cute ones. This was one of the other ones that I did get from that um, discontinued rat. I think this, I'm pretty sure this came off of that because on my sales slip it's showing half off. So 
And then they took the 30% the off at the very end, but I thought these were kind of cute. And they're all hooked together here. So then I went over to the bigger areas that had all of the other stamps. You know, I was looking for these watercolor kind of ones and was having a hard time, you know, picking because there's so many beautiful ones. Um, but I ended up picking this one because it had a lot of the pieces that would go together to create this scene. Um, you'll notice that the branches and the flowers are not in here. So those you would have to pull from another set. But I did get some of those little ones that are um, have some of that in it. And I, yeah, I don't have a branch, but you could always draw in a branch and then put some leaves on it. Um, and they just take the little, for these little things, they just take the stamp and stamp like three times, one, two, three, you know, one, two, three, and then take the water brush to it. And yeah, it, it, they're beautiful when they're done. They're like little works of art. <laughs> and I thought, well, I might be able to do this. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah. So I got this bird bath one, and then this is the other one I got. And again, these are not like Tuesday morning prices. These are, you know, this is the regular price, and then I got 30% off of these last two that I'm showing you. Um, but I thought it would be fun just to try this. Well, about the time I was picking these out, my friend Annalise came over and she said, Oh, those are good starter ones, but come here. And she took me over to a table that had boxes just full of little individual stamps. I'm gonna I'm gonna slide this in here and push this stuff back. Let's just take these out of the way. And so she started digging through here and she says, Here, you need a little grass. So these are little clumps of grass here. And I actually have two because they're just slightly different. And there was a rabbit. And these are some little like stones. And this is another little, um, I guess it's going to be hard to, little grass thing. Some of them I wasn't sure what they were. And I had to kind of really look. I had to ask her on a couple. I th this is a bird in flight. There's a barn. I'm not sure what this is, but it's got you know, some foliage on there. There's a little branch. And here's some little vines. And there's another vine. Now these are the ones I was talking about. These were on a, a sheet of rubber. And I had seen these ladies sitting at a table and cutting, you know, these rubber stamps out. So I didn't find, like I hadn't found any vines that were already mounted on the, the foam stuff. So I did get one little sheet of, of those and these four items were on that sheet. And so I went and cut those out because they, they sell this by the ounce. So it, I can't remember, it was like $2 an ounce or something. I mean, it was very, this whole set I paid $3 for and they didn't even charge me for these because they were less than an ounce and she just threw those in. She says, those are pennies. <laughs> So anyway, and there's, you know, some flowers here. So this I can use on that. Um, let's see, like this one. I could use that for these. These stamps, some of them you'll see have been used. They use these for their classes, but some of them look clean to me. So I'm not sure they were ever really used. There's a little evergreen branch. There's another little viney thing there's a little chair that you could mask and put a little pot on it with some flowers coming out the top and they show you how to do that on the videos so again watch those i think this is a little hummingbird maybe i don't know just a little running thing there i can't remember what this was i had to ask what it was and now i forget I'm not sure. I'll have to stamp it. And this is just like, could be a field maybe or something. I'm not sure. A little grove of trees. This is a little stream. So anyway, I thought, oh, this is great because, um, 
you could buy these like individually and pick out, you know, they, they didn't have the big items, but they had a lot of these smaller ones and there were boxes and boxes of them. And especially of these, these kind that didn't have the, um, the foam stuff attached. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they ran out of the foam, so they didn't have that to sale. But my friend said she's got some. She'll give me, you know, enough to cover these or put those on. So and so she said, let's play someday after church. So we'll take our stamps and go play. And she'll kind of show me a little bit more about how to use them, too. But that was kind of fun. Um, and then I picked up a couple other little items. One, I got their little stamp positioner. There's a little acrylic plate and what they do you stamp one image and then you stamp your next image onto here put your um acrylic block that has you know one of these on it and you actually stamp on this plate then put that in place and then take the plate away and put leave this I can't remember exactly how it works but it helps you position and you know create your composition so I did get this this uh, was not discounted so I did have to pay that price for that and the other thing I got that was not discounted was just this little um uniball white pin because I've been looking for one and haven't been able to find one and I they had them there so I just picked one up and then at checkout, they had a little basket that had a bunch of these little stamps in it, and you could pick out um, one that you wanted. And so I took the little bunny. I thought he was really cute. Or she. I'm not. She's cute. So we'll call her a she. Um, anyway, so that's what I got. So if you're interested, um, check out their website. They also have a... I'll put a link down below to that. And also their... Um, I'll put a link to their YouTube channel as well. I also follow them on Facebook, and now I'm on their mailing list. So, um, yeah, I should be covered, but they're on a lot of the social media, so you can check them out if you want. Um, but I really liked it. The other thing they gave us was their catalogs. And this was one of them. Again, has those ladies on it. And I haven't even looked through this one. Yeah, it's got a lot of, all, a whole bunch of their different, these are the cute ones, kind of, I think, mostly. And then there's a second catalog that has um, the, the watercolor kind. They also have a Bible journaling one, and I noticed recently she showed, um, and I almost bought one of those. It was the sheep, and it has, you know, the verse about the Lord is my shepherd, and um, I shall not want. And it, and then it has a little stream, and it was really pretty. So that you can look at on their YouTube channel. But so these are, yeah, I had to pick from all of these different ones, and it was kind of hard. But hopefully, I got something that will at least get me started and trying it out to see if I am capable of doing this. I'm not the most artistic person. In fact, I'm probably about the least artistic. I like to craft, but I'm just not very artistic. So, but I thought, well, if the image is at least stamped, you know, I have half a chance of getting it. I saw her do a truck one recently that was in snow too, and she showed how to make the snow. It was really cool. So anyway, thanks for watching, and check out their um, their website, channel, all of that, to see if that's something you might be interested in. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Uh -huh.